There are 32 million refugees and displaced people in the world today, forced to flee from war and conflict. Conflict is a necessary part of life. Change, growth comes out of conflict. The terror, the horror, is conflict that is pursued by violent means and the degradation of other human beings. Cord uses the language of conflict transformation, which I think is significant here. The number of civilians who are being targeted remains very high, uh, almost as if they're being targeted more than the people with weapons. And therefore, I think in that sense, the kind of work that Cord's doing is, is very important. People going into displaced people's camps, refugee camps, they become, if you like, victims. They're survivors who've been affected by violence, but no longer victims. Very often the drivers of war, poverty, exclusion, unemployment, discrimination, can remain unaddressed. And I think this is where agencies like Code come in very important in terms of addressing with local people. Cord's approach is all about building relationships. It's going beyond giving food aid, offering people the means of making a living, learning a trade, a skill that'll get them back on their feet. Teaching the younger generation that education is key to a better life. Good evening. Good. Good evening. Portuguese. Portuguese. Court as an organisation likes to feel that it is part of the community with which it is working. Uh, we involve the, the, the community in our discussions, in the development of our programmes, in the discussions of the budget that's available for our activities, and so we try to be one with the community. I think the advantage is a long term because we are developing um, people, we're giving them skills and experience that even when Cord is gone they can take on. They've built it, they've managed it, they're making it work, they own it, it'll be a success. It's very difficult to actually believe that we're in the middle of Afghanistan because there's so much greenery and agriculture around here and this is being provided by Cord. They've got tomatoes planted, they've got corn, maize, they've set up this agriculture project and this is what's helping the people of Afghanistan get back on their feet and hopefully live a better life. Conflict doesn't end with a ceasefire. As long as those drivers of the, the original drivers of conflict, the violence is still there, then there's every chance that it's going to recur. Breaking that vicious circle of conflict leading to poverty, which in turn can lead to more conflict, is crucial. And without our peace clubs getting people to reconcile their differences, Cord's mission would be in vain. In our anniversary year, Cord plans to launch programs in more of the world's most troubled countries. We'll return to Cambodia, where the legacy of the Khmer Rouge still dominates. We'll explore ways of working in Palestine, and in DR Congo, a vast country ravaged by years of incessant war. We are trying to see, uh, especially in the eastern part of the country, where people, refugees from Tanzania coming back and where lots of in internally displaced people uh, are still hiding in the forest or just coming out of the forest. What could, could be doing the level of uh, shelter, the level of uh, livelihoods, education. Now in Congo the needs are so big that everything has to be redone which has left the country really and the population one of the poorest of the, of the world. The challenge of transforming the lives of the world's most vulnerable people remains formidable. But with a legacy of 40 years' experience and your help, Cord is determined to make new life after conflict a reality. You see the terrible things that human beings can do to each other. But also there's the wonderful things that 
human beings care for each other. But also you've got that thing of your mum must never despair because it's a betrayal of the future generations. Yeah.